Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week on Technomicon.com we are looking at GarageBand 1.2 update and features. Um, basically, uh, GarageBand 1.2 brings uh, a number of various new features to uh, the iPad in terms of functionality, uh, primarily a lot of things dealing with uh, step recording and um, step editing. Uh, for people familiar with GarageBand iOS, uh, before it was pretty much real-time recording, and um, that was that was it. You could you could edit at the at the step level, but um, now you can do things like change velocity, which I'm showing here, uh, simply by selecting a note in the uh, in the notation view. Uh, you can you can edit groupings of notes as well, um, simply by um, Selecting a, an area that doesn't have notation uh, until a gray box, as you can see, uh, appears, and then you drag that over the notes that you want to select. One thing I did find, however, is that um, velocity changes, which is a new feature for uh, GarageBand iOS, uh, is that does not seem to work for for this kind of group selection mode. The group selection mode, uh, as far as I was able to test, uh, works great in terms of moving groups of notes around as well as copying and, and of course deleting them but the velocity change even when when a, a number of notes are selected seems to only affect one specific note and and the note that it affects doesn't seem to be consistent so that that's probably a bug there but it's it's minor I mean you can go in at at, at the individual note level and just change all of the velocities. Uh, one thing I want to point out about velocity changes at the at the notation level is people familiar with with other programs. I, I myself use Reason. Um, know that that when uh, velocity changes are made at, at the note level, uh, usually there's there's some sort of visual indicator, and and that would be like a color saturation saturation change, and and that's not present in uh, GarageBand iOS, unfortunately. So. If you're if you're doing a lot of velocity changes, then you know with things like cymbal rides or, or hi hats, close close hi hats, and all that kind of things, it's it's pretty tedious and, and gets a little bit um, overwhelming in terms of trying to get those subtle nuances of uh, of your rhythm going. But but it does work and and it works great. It's just that that sort of you know irked me a little in terms of not being able to see any sort of visual representation of all the, the various uh, velocity changes that you can make. So in addition to uh, all these new editing features and the velocity and the ability to group select notation is, is of course the ability to write in new notation. Uh, that's done in the same view uh, except that in the upper left corner when you go into the edit mode you'll see this red button and when you toggle that red button to the right, you're now able to write a new notation. And that's sort of how they, they're able to add that dual functionality of, of, of in the edit mode being able to select notation and then in the, the right mode being able to add in notation. So here I'm showing you uh, some, some notation added in. And it's pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure that you zoom in uh, as far as you can go so that you're not misplacing notation. Here I'm showing it, of course, with, with my finger, but I, I recommend using a stylus. And I also recommend that you uh, change your quantization. Uh, it seems to, to, to lock the notes better, and I found that when I didn't have my quantization selected, it was just putting things at the at the half note sort of positioning and um, so you want to keep that in mind as well. So hands down in terms of functionality as far as new features go is the merge track feature. Uh, for those that are familiar with GarageBand um, you're limited to eight tracks and this new merge track feature allows you to basically mix down uh, multiple tracks as many as you want into one new track and um, that's the thing that I love about it is that it just works. It, there's, there's nothing to it. It's easy. It's it's undoable, and um, it's it's the most straightforward thing that they've implemented. You basically 
uh, tap on the, the instrument icon to your left and um, select merge and then just select all the, the items that you want to merge and it creates this new audio track and there I just undo undid that and you can see that it maintains both versions. What it's actually doing is uh, creating a new version of the file with the merge track so it's very easy to go back and forward and work that way and it's great. And of course, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media. Uh, for the full article on GarageBand 1.2 update, visit us at www.technomicon.com. And once again, thank you for watching.